All right, welcome everybody to Active Minds, uh, our Wellness Wednesday meeting. This is our last meeting of the spring 2022 semester, and we are dedicating our meeting to celebrating our Active Minds graduate, our leaders, and our year in review. Woo! Thanks Yay! for coming. We really appreciate sharing time with you. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Professor Nicole Sandoval. I teach in communication studies at Delta College, and I am one of the co-advisors here for Active Minds. I'm going to go ahead and get our uh, presentation going, and several of the co-advisors will be presenting throughout uh, our presentation. So welcome, everybody. Good to see you. Here we go. Hello, everyone. My name is Heather Bradford, professor in counseling and one of the other advisors for Active Minds. And I want to welcome all of you for being here today. I'm going to read our land acknowledgement. And that is states that we acknowledge that San Joaquin Delta College serves students and the community on unceded ancestral homeland of indigenous people, including the Yokuts, Plains Miwok, the Patwin, the Nisanon, this land remains inseparable from its Aboriginal stewards. As guests, we recognize that we benefit from living and working in their traditional homeland, and we wish to pay our respects by acknowledging their, the ancestors, elders, and relatives of the Yokuts, Plains Miwok, Patwin, and Nishanon, including by affirming their sovereign rights as First Peoples. We remain grateful for the rich culture, languages, contributions, and heritage of the First Nation people who lived here and loved here, who raised their families here, who cared for land and life here, and who are buried in many unmarked and unmarked places here, and who remain here despite acts of genocide, assimilation, and forced removal. Let us honor them, this land, and all life in our thoughts, words, and actions in this place. Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to well Active Minds. I'm Annalisa Lagruda, also one of the academic advisors. So I'm going to read the confidentiality. So Active Minds seeks to provide a safe, non-judgmental, stigma-free place for its members, advisors, and guests to feel welcome and open to share personal information during the meeting and events. As a participant, Active Minds in Active Minds, I'm sorry, at San Joaquin Delta College, all participants have the right to confidentiality and privacy. Confidentiality within the group setting is a shared responsibility of all leaders and members. As a leader and or member of Active Minds, all persons agree to not disclose information to anyone that was shared during any given meeting or event. And today is a special event. We're honoring the, um, our graduate and also our leaders. Active Minds has an email address, and if you don't have it, write it down, activeminds at deltacollege.edu. You can send all your questions, and one of us will get back to you and answer those for you. Thank you. Uh, I want to take a moment to acknowledge Monica. She's got her hand up. Yes, appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, so I have only participated in this group a couple of times. So I was asking, is this open for students too, or is it only just for staff? It is students. It okay, is I'm just students. asking because um, I have my class. Um, I have six students in my class right now and we're live in one of the classrooms. So that's why I wanna ask and make sure if it was okay. Awesome, we welcome you and all welcome of you. Welcome students. Mm -hmm. This is so exciting. This is exciting. Mm -hmm. Yes, so I yes. have six students here. Let me see if I can change my my video so you guys can see them. So instead of nine participants, we're actually sixteen participants. Awesome! Yeah. Thank That's you so, so much, great, Monica. Thank you so much. Yes. We're thrilled to have them here. Welcome, there welcome. They're there. Hi, hi. <laughs> hi. <laughs> Our first high flex experience. Yeah, <laughs> this is great. Welcome, this welcome. Is awesome. Hello, yes. everyone. Um, so they're psychic, uh, they're psychic students. Um, so, you know, background in nursing slash mental health. So I wanted to expose them to this group, even though it's the last meeting, so that way they're aware for the future. 
Yes. Absolutely. Yay. Thank you. Awesome. Very welcome. Right. So now that you. that's settled down, then I'll just mute. <laughs> Professor <laughs> Fuentes, thank you so much. We yes. are excited. And to all of your students who are here, um, welcome. Please know that we meet every Wednesday in the fall, maybe. <laughs> we meet on Wednesdays, whether it'll be every or every other, we'll update that. But thank you. Thank you. All right, perfect. Um, I'm going to keep moving here on our presentation. Okay, so this is our Active Minds year in review. So Active Minds 2021 and 2022. Thank you so much for joining us here at Active Minds during the school year. Whether you have joined us once or every meeting, we have been so glad to have you here with us and learning so much that we had to offer and that our ambassadors and our students were sharing with us. As students, staff, faculty, and community members, we have come together to break the stigma surrounding mental health. Your participation in the advocacy on campus is powerful. The next slides, we will focus on the things we have been able to accomplish together through the year. Our year this past fall semester kicked off in August of 2021, which if you can just think back, that seemed like forever ago, but it was, we were still very much in the, the virtual world dealing with um, remote learning and the pandemic and online courses, but we kicked off our year um, with, with really making the decision to um, continue Active Minds as a, as a national chapter with, uh, so we are, part of a national organization for those of you that are guests today that are not sure about what Active Minds is. Active Minds is a national organization with, with chapters across many, many, many college campuses throughout the United States. I think there's like 750 or more uh, chapters and Delta College's chapter, um, we decided to operate as a chapter rather than as a student club. And so with that, we began opening up applications for students that would be interested in leadership positions to be leaders or chapter leaders of our club. So that's what took place at the beginning of the school year. And that was quite exciting because you'll get to meet some of these chap these leaders in a, in a moment. Um, and then we also kicked off the beginning of the semester with our first um, um, talking about mental health matters and really giving an overview about what other dimensions of wellness, um, what are some self-care resources and things that we can do, and really trying to connect with each other to see how we were going to make it through the semester together. And um, so that was the beginning of this, the kickoff for the 2022 school year, 21-22 school year. So we started off in the fall and he, we came back in 2022 and uh, we wanted to welcome back everybody for our uh, January 2022 Active Minds meeting uh, where we started with uh, affirmations and vision boards um, and thinking about how we were going to create and form uh, the new spring semester. And so uh, with that thought in mind, we also had several uh, events and activities that we posted on our Instagram page, which is what you see here in front of you. Lots of uh, events that we participated in throughout the fall and spring semester, promoting uh, on our social media Instagram page semester continued, we actually started a Be Well Mustangs wellness initiative on campus, uh, where we have uh, wellness challenges monthly, uh, which we started in spring. And so our first challenge was hydration. So we had a water challenge. Uh, and that was for the month of February, where we were all trying to drink water. <laughs> if you're not drinking any at all. Um, and then if you are consuming water, like really try to challenge yourself and consume um, a good amount of water so that we can be hydrated, uh, which is important for our wellness. Uh, our March uh, Be Well Mustangs challenge was physical fitness. Mm -hmm. So the idea here was that we were going to uh, get physically fit, do some sort of movement, uh, during the month of March and track that as well. Uh, and then for April, we actually had sleep as our 
uh, wellness challenge. And, and that's something that we all need to, but we all likely need to work on as well for our wellness. Okay, um, so on this slide, this is a really exciting thing. Um, one of the things that as Heather has already mentioned, we are part of this national chapter, or excuse me, and we are a chapter as part of a national organization that is Active Minds. And this is great because what we'll say is that as a chapter, we're really looking at this conversation of wellness on our campus, right? But it's difficult if we had to build from scratch. And so luckily we don't, we don't build from scratch. And I'm gonna show you a couple of things on this slide um, that that I think are exciting, referencing why we raised money, okay? So here's a shirt mm -hmm. that's Active Minds because this is the national logo. So we have our brand logo, but in addition to that, they send us branding and things that are really powerful that are part of like the national names. And so one of the campaigns that we took part in that we always do, um, especially right around the time of uh, World Suicide Prevention Day is the VAR training, um, which is really critical. And there are three steps to that. It's validate, appreciate, and refer. And so these are little cards that you can send out. You can give these to a friend. And right now we've got a whole bunch of them mm -hmm. and we are going to have an, uh, hopefully we're going to be able to have an event in the fall. Um, like we used to, where we're able to table and we're able to give this kind of information to our campus during that week. We have lots of little things. And the reason that I'm sharing this with us is because I want you to know that these are some of the benefits to being part of a national organization. Now, in order to do this kind of work, um, they ask that chapters raise some funds so that they can continue. And the fundraising, they call it Spirit Week, and it happens every, every fall. Now, I'm excited to let you all know that due to our efforts on this campus, we came in third place nationally for raising the most donations. Yeah, that was a really big deal. And let me say, this was our first time really going for it, that um, we may not have a lot of faculty and, and folks or staff members here right now because it is the end of the semester and people are crunched for time, but we want to acknowledge the names that you see here are across different sections, across disciplines, across campus, and also in our community. So some of these names, Tosh, you know, a big uh, mental health name in our San Joaquin County community. Um, Martha Villarreal is a business instructor. You have um, Lee Fun is our director. Uh, marketing and outreach. Um, Deborah Louie, we've got as a counselor. Um, this was how I found out Reiko. So when, when I met Reiko in person, I said, Reiko, you donated to our, um, our event because I, I remember seeing your name. Um, and then we have staff, Tina Leal from facilities and so many more. But the reason we want to focus on this slide is because there are people all across campus who are happy to contribute to the work that we do. So we want to let you know that this is upcoming again um, in the fall, and that's going to be an event that we're looking towards. So if you are looking to be involved, if you think that the things that we do bring value to our campus, then certainly please do uh, join us for this. And I think what's important, Adriana, to uh, mention is we actually had put a goal of $200. <laughs> if I was right. And we exceeded that. We, you know, and that was the most wonderful thing to get the donations from, from a lot of our staff and faculty and uh, workers on campus and even community members that, you know, we posted and, and got members to donate to us that were from the community. So, so true. And friends and family too. So yeah. I know your, some of your relatives did and oh, yeah. my mom's name is on there. Yeah. And an aunt. No, it was just, it's exciting. So what I want to talk about is some of the equity collaborations that we did here on campus since we are a a campus chapter and not a club, we still like to stay involved with our family that's on campus. And so some of the events that Active Minds um, 
were able to do was one, one being the Dreamer Success Center and having a guest speaker of Esther Marquez Perez come to Active Minds and share with us about the Dreamer Success Center and all of the services that they provide for us. We also had um, the Pride uh, Center come and, and share with us some of the activities and some of their goals that they are doing here on campus. And then we had Diaz de las Muertes um, on campus and via Zoom sharing with us some of um, their knowledge and, and just teaching us all about what that day means to many um, individuals on campus and in, within our community. That was a great one in particular, and I really want to shout out our student leaders who organized that. So yeah. our student leaders are behind all of this work. We're just highlighting it today. Um, but big shout outs to to them for doing the research when they presented Dia de los Muertos. And if you recall, this was the time that we did our virtual altar, right? So we did our virtual ofrenda, and we were able to place images of people who who um, people. And also in my case, I had a pet, um, uh, friends from a long time ago. They didn't, it, the idea behind Dia de los Muertos is just remembering, um, the, our, our folks and how powerful was it to be able to create a space where we could honor. And this is just one example of, uh, how important it is to create the space on campus for us every week. Mm -hmm. Some of the other equity um, collaborations that our leaders did was candid conversations with mental health and the Latinx folks. Uh, we had a guest speaker, Olivia Vasquez, that came and talked with um, our guests along with our leaders and us faculty here about the convers about candid conversations with about mental health and helping break the stigma and attempting to really get individuals to understand that you know we don't choose mental health we don't choose a mental illness it chooses us and we have to be respectful and learn to live with it and um, hopefully never give up our goals and our dreams uh, even if we are diagnosed with an illness and there are people such as us here at Active Minds that are accepting and working hard to break that stigma of mental health. We also had uh, agents of action, and we spoke about being a caregiver. So we know that many of our students, a lot of our faculty and staff on campus are caregivers, and many of our students are caregivers, whether it be a family members or just even sometimes neighbors that you take in and take care of. And we knew that this was a very difficult time. Um, we're on the kind of coming down from COVID. And we knew that many individuals were extremely hurt by COVID and then became caregivers. And so this was our, our chance to find out what can we do as a caregiver? How can we take care of ourselves as a caregiver while we're taking care of someone else? So that was a wonderful presentation that we were able to provide and that our, our leaders provided. Awesome. There were so many highlights from this past year with Active Minds meetings and we've all shared some of the things that we've highlighted there um, and there have been many, many more. Um, I think for me, one of my favorite memories um, for the meetings has to do with our, our advocate for wellness, Dr. Portia Jackson Preston, which we fondly call Dr. Pete JP, um, who is a consultant, but she does a lot of work with our campus on, on um, creating a culture of health and wellness. And she also had um, one of her graduate students from her program, Del uh, Delia Sanchez, who talked to us about imposter syndrome, being a first generation college student and what it felt like to be in a college setting and the different mix of emotions that she went through to feel that she fit in in this new environment and what she went through to, as she journeyed through getting her bachelor's degree and moving on to getting her, her master's master's degree. And um, so really a topic that I think hit home for many, many people that attended that meeting. I think those two were probably two of my favorite sessions. They were all excellent, but I think those are two that stand out for me. Um, so I just wanted to put it out there as a question and you can actually answer you know, you can unmute yourselves and answer, or you can put your answer in the chat. If you were part of any of our Active Minds meetings in this past year, what were some of your favorite meetings and or favorite memories from this past um, academic year? Uh, and I haven't introduced myself. My name is uh, Adriana Broger, and I am another one of the co-advisors for Active Minds, professor of digital media. I 
am going to share one that stands out for me a lot is um, one that we featured just on the on one of the slides, and that was in uh, September for Latinx Heritage Month. We partnered um, to discuss candid conversations about uh, mental health in the Latinx community. While we all struggle, um, we're all humans, we all feel things, um, there are certain implications of the cultures that we are um, raised in that color our view of the world in a way that makes us um, maybe push back on certain things that might be more readily available to like the Western view of what um, one might deal with in terms of mental health. But that may not be the same view that we have if our immediate family was raised differently. And so there is a disconnect that we can experience when we say, okay, well, um, I hear that, you know, we should break the stigma about mental health, but then I go home and I tell my mom, you know, I'm not really feeling well. And she's like, oh, you're fine. Just go take a shower or, you know, you just need to rest or you don't need any medicine or, you know, tomate un té y duermate un rato y ya vas a estar bien, right? So there's a lot of that culture embedded. And so when we have a space for these discussions, it allows folks to decrease a sense of isolation, like, oh, I go home and I'm the only one who deals with this. So instead, when we open up these conversations, the result for me on that one, and that's why that triggered this memory, is that um, when I was going through my email that next day, I saw several messages from faculty who said, Thank you for opening this conversation. Thank you because I heard so much that resonated for me and my experiences. So for me, I think those equity conversations um, really, really hit home. Thank you, Adriana, for sharing that. Um, we have in our chat one of our other um, regular Active Mind uh, student members um, that put in the chat that her favorite meeting was the event with Olivia Vasquez, who um, really spoke about mental health and the stigma around mental health for certain communities. And um, and thank you very much for for mentioning that because that was a very powerful um, presentation that that I think opened the eyes of many people um, around. Uh, it's it's okay to not be okay, and it's okay to seek help. So thank you for sharing that. Anyone else have any favorite memories before we move on, or favorite um, topics that were discussed um, during any of the sessions that we had? I like the scribble um, game too. <laughs> the, where we have to draw, I, you know, that's just kind of one of those things that it's, I'm not good at it at all. Um, I think Nicole is always the one that wins every time. <laughs> no, I don't win, but that is one of my favorite things yes, to do it's, it's, is Scribioli and also yes. the Valentine's Day meeting where we got to do those Valentine's cards. So that, those yeah. are, I uh, very much appreciate like, um, the passion and uh, thoughtfulness that that our leaders take in planning meetings and the content of our meetings and what we're going to focus on this week and this month. It's very thoughtfully planned out. Um, our speakers are fantastic. We have some great, great um, town halls and meetings and events that we do. And I very much appreciate those, but I'm not going to lie. I do love me the Scribioli <laughs> games. <laughs> They're I don't win those, but it is so fun to me. It might sound ridiculous, but it is like, it's so fun to me to just play a game with all of you. Um, I don't know. That laughter is one of the best <laughs> medicines that we can have that doesn't cost anything, right? <laughs> there is such Our thing as laugh health. therapy. Yes, there's that's a thing right. that's called laugh therapy. Laugh therapy. That's yes. all, all about that. Thank you so much. But I, I agree with Nicole and I love the things that we do that are that are deeper, but it is really nice to have a light meeting once in a while that's just like you know, let's just have fun together and laugh. And you know, when you're coming into that, because we, if you follow us on Instagram, we give, you know, Jocelyn does a great job, our social media uh, director to say, to post what we're doing. Um, and when I know that it's going to be a paint and sip or a scribble IO day, I feel like, 
we can just come in and relax and breathe and enjoy each other's company. So there is a very appreciative, for me anyway, a lightness about those kinds of days. So I agree with you, Nicole. That's a great point to bring up. I am the president of Active Minds for fall 2021. I got involved with Active Minds because of the message we were trying to spread and to break the stigma behind mental health and mental illness. I am currently a psychology major at Delta College and I do plan on transferring to a CSU to receive my BA or BS, then later on my MA. I do plan on working in the field for psychology as a counselor or a case manager. That was uh, a look at some of Antonio's goals at the beginning. And if we uh, think back to all that we've accomplished, we can see that he checked all of those boxes. So big congratulations to you, Antonio. Uh, the next one that we're going to view is, uh, is going to be, yeah, a big round of applause. Good job, Antonio. Um, the next one that we're going to view. Hi, everyone. My it's name Natalie. is Natalie Villasenor. I am Vice President of Active Minds, and I joined Active Minds because I want to be an advocate for mental health. It's something that's very important for me, and I want to provide and promote safe space for the SJDC community. A little bit about myself, I am a Spanish major here at Delta. It's my first semester, and I'm hoping to transfer to UCLA or Columbia University in the fall 2023 semester. <laughs> Thank you. And here we see Natalie's goals for our chapter. Collaborate, guide and engage every meeting. So you've really done a lot of these things. It's nice to look back. Yay. Big congrats for Natalie. Um, and the next one that we're gonna take a look at. Oh, just kidding. Hi everyone, my name is Jocelyn Zamudio. I am the social media manager for Active Mind. And the reason I became a student leader was because I wanted to help have these important conversations about um, mental health and I knew that it was something really important to me um, because it impacts us every single day. Um, and I am an interior design major. It is my first semester here at Delta and in two years time, I hope to transfer to SF State. And Jocelyn's goals. Congratulations, Jocelyn. So, oh, that was a great example of all the work. So we took a, a look back at the year in review and we saw our incredible student leaders and we really, as has been said already, we want to honor all of their work and their effort that went into the weekly planning. Um, so big thank you and congratulations to each one of you student leaders. Um, we are gonna circle back to student leadership a little bit later in our program. Adriana, there's a black screen, a black square. A black strip. Uh, a strip, yep. Yeah. yeah, okay, let me move it, hold on. Oh, good. Well, so that's, I, I can't see you all now. I have to hide you. Oh. Okay, so that's Great. where you all are. Okay, so it moved. Mm -hmm. I just moved oh, it. Oh, got it, okay. Okay. All right, so now we're coming to the big moment um, and we are here to congratulate our 2022 Active Minds um, participant who is graduating, who's accomplished tremendous goals even during this time of the pandemic, was able to accomplish and is transferring to Sac State, and that would be one of our leaders, Antonio. Congratulations. Yay. Big congratulations to Antonio. Yeah. So as you heard, Antonio is um, involved uh, in the mental health field, and he is a psychology major, and he's hoping to earn uh, work towards earning his BA or BS in psychology and then eventually going into his master's program in the same field and wanting to become a counselor or a case manager in serving the individuals that struggle with mental health. And so I think that's a tremendous goal, um, one I believe he can accomplish with all his hard work that he has shown us already. 
in all of the dedication that he has done for Active Minds. So I, I congratulate you and I wish you the best of luck over at Sac State and know that we are always here for you. So you yes. can always reach out to us via email and we can help guide you, assist you and problem solve with you. As Thank you. you. At this time, we would like to, as uh, as advisors for Active Minds, uh, this is a slide that says memorable moments. And Antonio says his memorable moments have been all of the meetings attended for planning each week. I think that's powerful because that's uh, the collaborative process between uh, our student leaders but at this time, we would like to open up the floor for our advisors and uh, perhaps even maybe uh, some of the student leaders and members who'd like to share something special about Antonio. I would like to start us off um, by sharing a message about how Antonio, what strikes me as very, very special about Antonio is his work ethic. And Antonio, I just want to congratulate you because I know that you have put so much effort into your role as president here at Active Minds. And I have seen you on campus this semester and last semester, whether it was horticulture or out um, working with the Dreamer Success Center, or whether I was seeing you out in the quad interacting with other students or talking, coming in and picking something up real quick because you had to head to work. And I have just been struck at um, how much effort you put into everything you do. So I want to honor that effort and say congratulations, Antonio. You are truly an inspirational person and it's been so nice to get to know you here. Thank you. I'd like to mention Antonio's kind-hearted nature. Um, whenever we would have planning meetings um, at the beginning of the week, me and the other student leader, Jocelyn, Antonio would always make sure that we are engaged in a conversation right when we get into a meeting together. He always uh, asks us how our day is, how we've been, what we did over the weekend and it's a really nice reminder that you know we are not just working we're also almost like friends here you know it's it's a very friendly welcoming setting and he is the one who sets that mood and it's really really nice and you know with his work ethic and the kind-hearted nature it makes him a wonderful combination of a person that's nice I would have to agree with that. Um, I've worked, I actually just have known Antonio. I have not had him in any of my classes. I've only known him through Active Minds. And I actually met him for the first time at our commencement that we had for our graduates last spring, um, where we did a drive-by event for our graduates at that time. And we were um, trying to get Antonio to consider taking on a leadership role. He was a little hesitant about it. I remember he was like, oh, I don't know. Oh, you know, that's I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. But he stepped up and I'll tell you, um, I have really witnessed tremendous, I would say, growth in this past year. Um, just really a lot of um, leadership skills that I've seen being developed in Antonio. And I think that um, one of the things that struck me about him is he doesn't um, hesitate to ask questions when he needs clarity. Um, I've received texts from him on the weekend asking me about things, you know, just to make sure that he understood or, you know, making sure that he's, you know, not forgetting anything important. And I really appreciate that because it just shows that he takes his role very seriously and his responsibilities very seriously. And he is juggling a lot. Um, don't get it. Don't, 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 don't think that active mind is the only thing he's got going on in his life. But Antonio, thank you so much. And I have no doubt that you will succeed in your future endeavors. Um, I had the opportunity to participate in the NAMI walk at Land Park this past weekend, and I met some incredible people from Sac State's Active Minds chapter, as well as 
as their NAMI on campus chapter. So there is a very active, active minds at Sac State. So please connect with them. Even if you're not gonna be a leader anymore, they do a lot of great things um, on the campus at Sac State. So I just wanted to throw that out there at you. I didn't know that Sac State had a NAMI, yes. uh, NAMI chapter over there. Okay, yes, I'm, NAMI I'm on campus. It. Yeah, NAMI on campus it. and Active Minds. They do separate roles, but they often collaborate together mm -hmm. um, on what they do. And the Active Minds group are the ones that I saw out there at the NAMI walk. And um, they were um, very visible. And so I, you know, I just wanted to let you know that once you are part of Active Minds, kind of like Puente, once a Puntista, always a Puntista. Well, once an Active Minds person, you're our forever in the family so it, it's good it can be with you everywhere you go so antonio i met you also last year at our active minds graduation and then you stepped up and took on a, a leader role for active minds and you have done a tremendous job um, in in running active minds and guiding all of us and along with the other advisors and I think uh, you going into psychology as a male is a tremendous uh, benefit uh, because it tends to be a woman's uh, role um, and it's a woman's job usually. You see more women in that role more so than ever in the community. And I think it needs to be balanced out with a good, strong, supportive male in helping individuals that struggle with mental health. Mm -hmm. um, the connections can be there for uh, males who are struggling. And I think you will, be, you will be a tremendous benefit to those that are in need of help. And I wish you the best at Sac State. Thank you, thank you. Antonio, I'm so excited for you to join Sac State with me. Um, it's been really nice as the president before you to see you um, like be the president of Active Minds now and just mm -hmm. all the ideas you've had um, for this chapter on San Joaquin Delta College's campus. Um, and I just think it's awesome that I've known you for like three and a half, four years now. And during mm -hmm. that whole time, you've been working on your goals and honestly succeeding with them, with school, with fitness, with work, um, with mental health, just everything you've elevated in so many different ways since I've met you. And that's just been really cool to see. So I'm excited for you. I'm proud of you. And let's go Sac State. I'm excited. Woo! Let's go Sac State. <laughs> Stingers up. <laughs> Stingers <laughs> up. <laughs> Antonio, I just want to say congratulations on graduating. It's so exciting. So proud of you. Uh, I agree with everything that everybody has said here today. I do uh, want to say that I greatly appreciate the passion that you bring to your work here mm -hmm. at Active Minds, the passion um, and just thoughtfulness that, that you and uh, Natalie and Jocelyn have brought every single meeting uh, and dedication uh, and just love for, for Active Minds and mental health uh, awareness. It's very inspiring and just lovely to see uh, how much you enjoy and really want to give to the community and, and the campus at Delta College. Um, I just think that we have very caring and passionate leaders. Uh, and I, it's really fantastic to see that. And I very much appreciate each of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was so nice to get uh, a chance. It was interesting, Antonio, as we looked at this and we got, we sent out our who's graduating and, and we had just one, one person and that was Antonio. And we thought, well, that'll allow us to really shower Antonio with appreciation. Mm -hmm. And so, um, so it was a little bit different this time around, but yeah. we're so grateful to honor you and and just wish you all good things. You mm -hmm. and your fellow student leaders have been incredible. Jocelyn and Natalie and Antonio have been a great team and we appreciate each one of you. 
as we talk about that, um, we want to let you know that we are, it is that time where we're now recruiting for new leadership for this next 2022-2023 uh, year. Previous leaders are eligible to apply and there's something new this time around. Um, we're really excited. I don't know if folks on the call have, are, have heard of or are familiar with the 1000 internship opportunity. Has anybody heard of that? Mm -hmm. Well, I am gonna tell you really quickly what it is. Um, San Joaquin Delta College through our Workforce Development Center office has created a system where you can be an intern on campus. And as this intern, you're actually gonna get paid to play, to, to complete the role of the student leader. Um, so doing what you were doing, but this time due to funds that are now available, uh, our participating student leadership will earn $20 an hour. And you're going to work under uh, Heather Bradford, who will be the supervisor for this position. Um, you'll apply on Job Speaker. And if you go to Delta College, our website, you'll go to Job Speaker um, and create an account. And then once the job is posted there, um, we'll let you know once the job is posted. And then in the fall, once you resume this position, you can earn uh, payment for this. And the reason that this is a wonderful benefit is um, this will serve as work experience. Mm -hmm. And so this can be a job related to wellness and equity and all of the work that we do on campus in a way where you're actually being paid for your time. And so if this is something that um, encourages students to, to stay on and to uh, have this opportunity, then we're so pleased with that. I'm only sorry that we didn't have these funds forever since our very first president was Celine Pham, who did a great job. And then we had Vanessa who did a great job. And then we had um, Katrina who did a great job. And uh, if you recall, Katrina was able to be our wellness ambassador at the chancellor's level, which was really exciting, and then able to move into a different position. But currently, um, we don't know that those funds are available. So we do know that the 1000 internship money is available. And uh, if you're interested in doing this, we're going to ask you to fill out a form. I'm going to stop share just so that um, I can show you once more. I'm going to go to job speaker. Um, and while I'm doing that, I don't know if anybody has a question about this. So you can see that we have different internships that are available. And the one that you won't see posted right now is this uh, Active Minds Wellness Ambassador, but it will be. And then you will be able to earn uh, monies for this. Now it is a 12 week internship, which means that you can do it for 12 weeks and then we can extend that with another level. So there's lots of opportunity here. Um, in order to initially tell us that you're interested in this, we're going to ask you to complete this form, which is our student leadership team. And if you have already completed this form, perhaps you've been, um, we were one of our, our people and you're considering coming back, then you don't have to fill this out again. So you just have to send us an email and tell us that you're interested uh, in, in coming back, perhaps in a different role, perhaps in the same role. Um, and if you are have not um, been a student leader, but this is something that interests you, then please know that we want to invite you to apply because we know that this is going to be a great benefit for our chapter. Were there any questions or I see some things in the chat? Oh, perfect. Thank you, Nicole, for putting those in there. All right, we've come to the end of our presentation. Mm -hmm. We want to thank all of you for joining us today uh for our final spring 2022 meeting uh our meetings for the fall will be uh our first meeting will be august 31st which is a wednesday at 1 30 p.m uh we likely will be on zoom um should that change we certainly will reach out and let everybody know uh 
and we have our meeting ID here. So we look forward to seeing all of you in the fall uh, for our first Active Minds meeting. And in the meantime, we are wishing each and every one of you a wonderful, restful, enjoyable, uh, just loving and filled with everything that you would like to do, people you'd like to see, places you wanna go, just enjoy uh, your summer break, uh, any sort of break that you have, your weekends off, whatever it is. Uh, just have a wonderful, meaningful uh, time between now and the fall semester. Mm -hmm. Congratulations to Antonio graduating. And many of us will likely see y'all on campus in the fall. Uh, and so we look forward to actually seeing y'all in person again. No idea if it will be during our Wednesday meetings, but it could just be passing in the quad. <laughs> I, I will mm -hmm. say hello. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you. Congrats, everybody. Good awesome. job. Good job to everybody, to Jocelyn, to Natalie, to Antonio. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you.